When we had last left the Spacefarer, they decided to do more work for Ryujin Industries, more secret covert infiltrating and disrupting other rival companies. And, uh, <laughs> and, it, and it involved them deciding to go, <laughs> deciding to go take on some competition. Uh, that's right, where, where Gladys, an employee, worked. It was at none other than Trident Luxury Lines that they were seeking to root out some of their competition by way of using <laughs> using a little ARC program device. And, uh, or no, that was at the last one. This time they were getting some schematics for some juicy new hot banging ship. Uh, this is Starfield. Welcome, welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. There we are. Let's uh, okay? let's get on out of here. Holy cow! Let's let's go pick up our little unit and go sneak on out. Actually, real Behave quick, yourself. before I forget, let's go through here. Shut that. Good. Let's do a quick save in case we get caught. Okay, let's pick into here too. Perfect. And then. There we are. And one of these. Good. Easy enough. Okay. Okay, yeah, this does put us directly in that room. And somehow, we can reach this. <laughs> we just digipick through here. And reach our hand through. We have to use like a coat hanger to fish it out of there. Okay. There we go. Put that there. And easy enough. Prototype schematic. Alright. Sure. Great, yeah, there we go. Cool. You know, if anything, this is uh, not really our fault, right? This, how much of this is to blame on Ryujin? I feel like not very much, because what are you doing? Trident Luxury Liners or whatever your, your name is called, Trident Luxury Lines? Yeah, what are we doing? You've only got one copy? <laughs> You've only got one copy of the schematics. You don't even have an older version that you could just update real quick. What's up with that? You've just got the one copy. You have zero company redundancy in case. Like, what if your computer just like had a problem? You know, your like your entire infrastructure, your entire business depends on this. It's not just like one spreadsheet goes missing. Like. This is a pretty important one, you know? It's it's your prototype next big hit. Okay, let's pop this open. Head on over here. Good. Great. At the very least, you would think the computer that they worked on it on would have the, the same exact data, right? Or are we just getting it, right? Are we just getting some of the same data? I don't know. Okay. Let's head on over here. Because if that's the case, why didn't we just... You know, we already have access to their systems, I presume. Why not just hack it in? And, and download it by way of that? Hmm. I feel like these are... These are weird little issues that you run into... When you get... Uh sufficiently science fiction you know it's it's like a an extrapolated version of the cell phone problem in other storylines right wherein you know a lot of movies especially horror movies and stuff like that um contemporary ones have to find a way around their their like protagonists having access to a cell phone at all times you know so there's always got to be a scene where, like, they either drop it or they lose it or they don't have it for whatever reason or the, like, the big bad somehow finds it and crushes it beneath their boot or whatever the fuck, you know? 
Okay. Or it's a liability in some way. Okay, Imogene. Just the person I wanted to see. You got that schematic? I do. Give item. Here it is. Give item. Yep, and Trident is none the wiser. Give item. I'm insulted you even asked. What are your plans for the schematic? What are your plans for it? We'll have our research and development team take a look. If there's anything notable, we'll reverse engineer it, then recreate it with our own spin. And believe me, by the time our engineers are through, Trident won't even recognize it. Okay. Well, yeah, here you go. Trident is none the wiser. And we aim to keep it that way. I need to deliver this to Vina so she can start the reverse engineering process, but first, Ulara wants to see you. I've upgraded your security level so you can access the executive floor where oh. her office is. Tell her assistant Maeve you have an appointment. I won't be far behind, in case you get lost. Okay. Sure. Well, let's head on out and over. This way, good, good, good. Hang on, am I actually tracking it? Yeah. This is the one person that we have yet to actually have contact with, right? Because all the others were present at that little meeting. Oh my gosh. Okay, are there floors here we haven't been to? I don't know, have we been to research and development? I think we have. Wow. Is this water or is this like... What, what is this? Vex milk? This could be the most important meeting of my career. Oh shit, there's a meeting going on? Okay. God. It really looks like cum. <laughs> it really looks like a, a couple of giant cum waterfalls. Come on. I mean, come, look at it. The viscosity. Why is it like going in such a slorpy motion? It's got little like strands. What's going on? Why does it look like this? It doesn't look like water. It does not look like water. <laughs> You know exactly what it looks like. Come on. <laughs> These are cum waterfalls of brand new Ryujin in invention. <laughs> All right. Thomas Elliot. You're waiting for an appointment. Please have a seat. Well, I'd love to, but there are, there are actually no chairs here except for your own. I see you have an appointment with Miss Chen. Just head up the two flights of stairs to my left and speak to Maeve. Okay, well, I need help finding something. Your last name sounds familiar, does it? What's your last name? Do you hear a lot of interesting things on this floor? Hang on, what's your Thanks last for name? Visiting Ryujin Tower. Enjoy your day. Thomas Ellicott. I think it does sound familiar. Don't we know another Ellicott, like, downstairs or whatever? Oh, yeah, the Ellicotts! Right, we were told about this. just finished polishing everything. Keep your hands to yourself, if you don't Yeah, mind. we heard about this. We were able to ask someone else this same question, or make the same statement. Your last name sounds familiar. Well, I'm not the only Ellicott working in Ryujin Tower. My daughter Jupiter works at the front desk, and my wife Nancy works for Tranquility. That's wild. It must be nice to have your family so close. Sounds like nepotism to me. Like father, like daughter. Sounds like nepotism to me, let's fucking say it. Sounds like an unfair assumption to me. Nancy and I met here. And Jupiter graduated top of her class from her executive training program. Sure, I got her an interview. But she got the job on her own. And she's kept it on her own too. Yeah, I wasn't talking about you and your wife. Like, yeah, that could have been totally possible. I'm talking about your, your child being in here. You know, classic case of nepotism. Sure, you can spouses can be included in there too. But the classic case is, is like your kid or your grandkid. Okay. Do you hear a lot of interesting things on this floor? Sure do. And I'm not interested in discussing it with you. Oh. I've kept this job for almost a decade by being tight-lipped, and that's not going to change now. Damn, I thought I could just stroll on in here and talk to the person in the lobby to <laughs> give me all the company secrets. Well, I need help finding something. I'm happy to help. Where can I point you? 
I don't, the executive I don't know. floor houses all oh. of Ryujin's board members, with the exception of Dr. Kalra, who's located in research and development. That's all I needed, thanks. I'm looking for Masako Amada's office. I'm looking for Ularu Chen. I'm looking for Dalton Fiends or Fennis. Holy shit, I'm looking for Jean Vieve Monahan. I'm looking for Lyndon Calderi. I'm looking for Alexis Price. Oh my gosh! Are we actually going to need to look for all these people at some point? I'm looking for Ularu Chen. Miss Chen's office is up the stairs to your left, then a quick walk down the hall and up another flight of stairs. They're hard to miss. Her office is right across from CEO Imada's. Her assistant, Maeve, can direct you if you get lost. Anything else I can help you with? Okay. That's... That's all. <laughs> right, I probably shouldn't ask about all this. Again, happy to help. Enjoy your day. I hope you find who you're looking for. Okay. Let me know if you need help finding anything. Sure. Ryujin certainly spared no expense on their exec floor. I know. Two cum waterfalls? Good God. <laughs> they truly went above and beyond. I've been waiting here for ages. Hey, Marshall? Ryujin what? <laughs> Isn't this the fucking Marshall of the Freestar Rangers? That's fucking him, ain't it? Holy shit, I think that's him. Okay. Hello. What's taking so long? I need this contract signed today. Dang, everyone's here for something. I wonder if any of these people are angling for the same contract deal I am. Why do you sound so familiar? If this deal goes through, I'm requesting a transfer to Ryujin Tower. Who is this guy? He sounds incredibly familiar, especially that first line. I can't believe I was able to get this appointment. Where have I heard you before? Okay. Well. Let's go directly where we need to go. And we can... We can mess around later, I guess. Okay. Hey, is this another lobby? Can I help you? Oh, you're Maeve. You can help me. Name an appointment. Lyle Schnub, I'm supposed to see you, Laru Chen. I'm expected. Imogene Salzo sent me. None of your business. I'm expected. Imogene sent me. That's neither your name or appointment. If you're expected, I need that information before allowing you in. So again, name and appointment. He's with me, man. What? You were here the whole fucking time? She should be expecting us. Thank you, Imogene. I'll mark you down as confirmed. Ularo's in a meeting with Genevieve, but they should be done any minute now if you want to wait right here. Thanks, Maeve. Well, sooner than I thought. Looks like Ularu's ready now. Holy shit! That leaves us with only one option. God, Ularu, is that always your response? I don't want another PR mess on my hands. Yes, Viv, because you're too good at your job. No, we can talk details later. My next appointment's here. Fine. But you can break this news to Alexis this guard is like, next meeting. I hear nothing, I see nothing. <laughs> okay. Imogene, You're thanks up. for covering for me. Hey, Genevieve. Who's on the executive floor? Moving up, I see. Uh-huh. Okay. Good. You're finally here. The one I've been hearing so much about. I'm Ularu Chen. Head of operations here at Ryujin. So tell me, what do you think of your new job so far? Okay, this person's voice, I know who this is. This is what's her name from the fucking Red Mile. The hostess of the Red Mile, that's her. All right, security. This job seems right up my alley. It's a job. It's my dream job. I love it. I'd prefer more legitimate work. What does operations entail? <laughs> it's wild that at this point we would ask here. <laughs> sure, why not? What does operations entail? Simply put, our goal is to ensure the success of this company and keep things running smoothly. 
We supply our various departments with whatever resources they need in order to meet expectations to achieve this. It's much easier said than done, believe me. Okay, well, this job seems right up my alley. In that case, it sounds like our initial impression of you is turning out to be quite accurate. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of is what it we genie do or or and Viv? Hold off success every time. Five successful oh, genie and one specialized. And on top of all that, a flawless record. It's no wonder they love you up here. I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Genie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. He's the best operative I've ever hired. <laughs> Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Oh my god. Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. Some can be fickle or demanding, so you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. Understood. I'll get it done. I've dealt with all sorts of people. I know how to get my way. We trust people outside the company? Let's say that. <laughs> I'd use the word trust loosely. We maintain a relationship of sorts. Those who come through get paid, and those who don't, well... They won't live to regret it. Alright, yeah, I've dealt with all sorts of people. I know how to get my way. That's exactly the type of operative I want. Someone who doesn't take no for an answer. Your contact is Simon Rychek. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working on. He said it's a game changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. So his asking price is the big thing to consider. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So if you have negotiation skills, use them. If it's important, I'll get the information. He's not getting any of my credits. How does the reimbursement work? Anything specific I need to know about Simon? How's the reimbursement work? You get reimbursed once the assignment is complete. But the immediate cost is on you. If you don't have the money by now due to poor financial skills, I can only hope your negotiation skills are up for the challenge. Now, in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. I'll let Jeannie give you the details on this one because the concept is just beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. At some point, he'll casually say, Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, hang on. Let me write this down. Let's see. Let me write this right here. Razor Derby is the only real sport. Hello. Okay. Who are the Galactic Raiders? They're a batball team that sucks. They have about as much chance of winning the Universal Championship as Aurora does of going legal outside of Neon. Simon despises Batball, though, which is why he crafted that response you give in return. Okay. Well, what is Razor Derby? According to Simon Rychek, it's the only real sport in the galaxy. But if you want a lesson in sports, just ask him. Movies are more my thing when it comes to entertainment. Okay. Got it. I'm ready. I like his style. Stupid, but whatever. <laughs> Let's say it's stupid. <laughs> yeah, what, so what? what is this childishness? Stupid. But whatever. Exactly. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> You'll find him above the Lux condos in Sidonia's Plaza. You spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope he doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay. Oh. 
You're coming in here too, Imogene? You, you looking through her stuff? Yeah, I do this too. I loot stuff all the time. Okay. Anything Let's Anything else? Some space. What if I choose not to? I believe I said I have work to do. Okay. Here, can I take a peek at your cool computer? Oh, it's locked. Hack master lock? Well, I better not do that. At least not in front of you. Okay. Don't wander into any restricted areas. Sure. Should we fully explore this area, or <coughs> are we thinking that we're gonna ultimately see everything anyway? I feel like that's the case. Okay. Anything else? Well, that wasn't too bad for your introduction. What do you think of Ularu? Ularu seems nice enough. She seems a little full of herself, if you ask me. I'm glad I get to deal with you and not her. It's too soon to tell. I'd rather not get into that. <laughs> I'd rather not get into that. Huh. Oh, man. Which is better? It's too soon to tell or I'd rather not get into that. The most corporate answer we could give right now is to give an answer that's not really an answer. You know? It's too soon to tell. Good call. Let me know if you have any questions regarding your assignment. And enjoy your time in Sidonia. It's certainly no neon. I've been to Sidonia. Can you tell me more about Simon Rychik? Is there anything I should know about Sidonia before I go? So, Genie, is it? Man, this this once again feels hey, very much are we like talking, um, or what? you know the origin stories, the different backgrounds and stuff. Like you start on different planets. This feels almost like it because I feel as though a lot of new players will go to Sidonia first. It will be one of the first places that they go to, you know, especially given how many like main story quests are around there. I feel like it's. It's not guaranteed, but it's highly likely that most players go to Sidonia within their, like, first 30, 40 hours, if not earlier. Okay. So, Genie, is it? For you? No. Only Ularu calls me that, and it's not up for negotiation. Anything I should know about Sidonia? Only that it's vastly different than Neon. There's not glitz and glam where Sidonia is concerned. And don't worry about it being in UC territory. Simon's smart, so any physical information he may hand off to you won't set off any alarms. Just make sure your ship is clean before reaching Mars orbit. Remember, Aurora is illegal there, so if you have any on you, it needs to stay here. Right. Can you tell me more about Simon? I worked with Simon a lot in my time as a field op. He's a perpetually grumpy man, but I think he just likes to keep his distance. Getting close to people isn't a luxury he can afford in his line of work. Much like ours. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa, I, I am listening. All right, good talk. Sure. Do you have anything else to say? I don't believe in small talk, so if you need to chat, see Thomas downstairs. Okay. Who is Thomas? I hate waiting. Was Thomas the name of the the lobby dude? Okay. Yeah, must have been. Right? Yeah, Thomas Ellicott. Right? Wasn't it? Yeah, okay. This could be the most important meeting of my career. Okay, let's get on out of here. Go to the lobby. Or I guess we could just immediately go to Sidonia, couldn't we? Let's see. Yeah. Travel to Sidonia on Mars in the Soul System. Let's do it. Good. <laughs> yeah, we're getting way more of our own created load screens. I'm liking it. For whatever reason, they they only activate every I so take often. Mars over Jemison any day. Okay. Well, let's head on over here. Good, good, good. All right. Jeez, it's taking a while. 
Okay. Simon, I do we actually Empire know Simon? No, we don't know Simon, do we? Simon Rychik? Used to think I was Vanguard material until I discovered that. Right over here, you're not. Yeah, you're someone else. The reviews okay. are in for the latest ships from Star Yards across oh. the system. Hold up. And the final scores were surprisingly tight, with Tio Astroneering earning a single I've war that four a that rivals Stroud Eklund. You can't One have those two dating. Technologically, you would it's never neck work. And neck. Really, there's no bad choices this season. I swear. Rumors abound that Stroud Eklund has one more trick up its sleeve to reclaim its title from last year. Financially, emotionally, physically, <laughs> and it ruined the plot. SS, it a trick up their sleeve. I thought if the ratings already went out, isn't it like too little, too late though? Hmm. Can't okay. wait to get out of this place. Yeah, Simon, you and me both. How about sports, huh? You lost? Or just come to ask an out-of-work miner how his day's going? You look like you could use a little friendly conversation. Figured I'd check out the view from here. I'm sure something will open up soon. Miners are always needed in Sidonia. I'm sure something will open up soon. Yeah, yeah. I just wish Sidonia had a bit more to offer while I'm trying to enjoy my unemployment. Not much in the way of entertainment around here. Yeah, like sports. Speaking of, yeah, looks yeah. Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. Razor Derby is the only real sport. Uh, something about Razor Derby is the best. <laughs> I like it. They make it very obvious which is the right one, right? The the real way to make it <laughs> because this one is obviously wrong, but it does mention this as like a little bit of help. Therefore, this one feels the most wrong. Do we really have to do this? Huh? I'm so curious what would happen if we fucked it up. Okay, I thought it would be way more of a challenge. Like, there would be like. Razor Derby is the only real sport, or um, another sport is the only real sport, or Razor Derby Hello. is is we where the real entertainment here. is at. Something like that, just way more subtle variations. Okay, Razor Derby is the only real sp sport. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Nice to see you made it. I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Stockyards. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. It's steep, yes. But that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Persuade, surely that's negotiable. Let's hear about this side job. Pay 10,000 credits. Fine, here's your credits. Jesus, it's 10 times as much. Which feels a lot more reasonable, given our, like, whole corporate espionage, you know? A thousand credits? That sounds incredibly light. If anything, 10,000 feels entry-level for what we're doing. I'll come back with your money later. Okay. I want to do the side job, actually. I want to do it. Yeah, let's hear about it. Glad you see reason. As you may guess, being an informant is not without its risks. I've heard there's a merc in Saturn's orbit who'd like to cross my name off her list. Malai Liskova. If you take her out and bring me her gun as proof, I'll consider my fee to be waived. Oh my gosh. Finding people is my specialty. Consider her disposed of. I'm not gonna kill someone for you. Fine, if that's what it takes. What can you tell me about this Malai Liskova? She's a freelance mercenary, used to work for Inception Technologies. But she likes her independence, so she went into business for herself. She specializes in killing for the right price. So before you get any second thoughts, you should think of it as doing the settled systems a favor. Right, yeah, we know all about the, uh, like, bounty hunter industrial complex and the problems that arise from it. Uh, why do you want the gun as proof? Liskova has a sentimental attachment to that gun. 
even named it Ember. Ooh, it's got a special She'd name. She never just hand it over. Do I get to keep it? Saved her life once or twice. Seems whenever it falls into enemy hands, it has a tendency to backfire or jam. <laughs> On top of that, she's superstitious, which makes the gun all the more precious to her. Yeah. Clearly this guy hasn't heard about a very specific pair of boots. Alright, yeah. Consider her disposed of. Hmm. You're doing me a tremendous favor. Just know she won't go down easily. So be prepared. Malai's ship is called the Detura. And like I said, you can find her in orbit around Saturn. Just what is a Detura? remember to bring the gun back as proof. Why does that sound familiar? Isn't that like a kind of fruit or vegetable? A Detura? Okay, well, are we still tracking it? Oh yeah. In Saturn's orbit. Well, we'll have to board if we want to get the gun, I'm guessing. Is there new in other news? news? Oh, yeah. Keep your eyes peeled for I wonder if we can use this information. The settled systems new right? Network. Those, those, um, was it systems or planets? I think it was systems. Can we use that to sort of triangulate some sort of important position for House Varun? Right? It keeps coming up that they've been spotted in so-and-so areas. You know? I feel like that must be relevant in some way or another. Okay. Good, good, good. That said, no, nah, I don't think so. Right? Given the way that grab jumping works within this world, within this universe, I don't think it gives you any information whatsoever. Unless you could somehow trace, like, grab jumps and their point of origin. But I don't... I don't think we've heard anyone say that you could do anything like that ever, right? Okay, well here, we'll, we can just take off, I think. I keep forgetting that we don't, we, we, we have fast travel, right? Okay, over here. And let's go to Saturn. And yeah, I, I think we're probably going to need to board, but we may also be able to just get it. Oh, look, there they are. Hello. That's more like it. So, tell me what you're doing here. I'll decide whether or not to strip you for selfish. Simon Rychik sent me to kill you. I'm here to save your life. Are you looking for a man named Simon Rychik? Attack. I knew this was a waste of, of time. Huh. Wild. Okay. Are you looking for a man named Simon Rychek? We can rat out Simon. Are you looking for a man named Simon? I'm looking for a lot of people. And none of them are any business of yours. Simon Rychek sent me to kill you. <laughs> Simon's been trying to kill me for years. And failed. Miserably. Why haven't you opened fire, hmm? Talk. I'm here to discuss an alternative to killing you. I can get Simon Rychek to stop hunting you. How do you know him? How do you know him? If you think I'm answering any questions, think again. Okay. I'm here to discuss an alternative to killing you. Simon will stop if he believes you're dead. You give me your gun, and this all goes away. Don't you want Simon to leave you alone? What's this grudge about? Don't you want Simon to leave you alone? I admit, it'd be nice to be able to relax a bit. What's this grudge about anyway? What are you, a therapist? It's none of your business. Huh. I don't really want to resolve this peacefully, right? Given the shadiness of this quest arc, 
I kind of do want to be a, a piece of shit and not resolve this without violence, you know? Huh. Fuck it, I'm killing you. <laughs> if that's the way you feel. Okay. Can't skip the system with a fried grab drive, huh? Cool. And I wonder what Sam and Sarah have to say. Hopefully the gun is inside of your cargo hold here. There we go. Ember. Great. Okay, what's it look like? Whoa, what the fuck? Oh my gosh, it's a solstice, but it's all been colored to look fiery hot. It has ignition beams, uh, of course. Okay, well, jump's done. Let's head on back here real quick. There we are. Good. Unaligned thieves and murderers are sometimes termed spacers. I'd like to stop by the Sixth Circle for a drink, if you don't mind. Really? Wait. It, is that just like ambient fun dialogue, or will something actually happen? Okay, hang on. <laughs> we may as well check. Right, we may as well check. Haven't we brought Hadrian back here since we finished the mission? I'm not... I, I don't know if we have. I'm still shocked about Governor Hurst. Rumor is he got into some shady stuff, but they won't tell us what. Okay, yeah, let's check it out real quick. Just on the off chance that something weird and wild happens. Okay, down here. Good. Oh. And where was it at specifically? Right over here, yeah. Okay. I'm guessing Hadrian is playing catch up here. Yep, there you are. Hey, Lou said you're involved with the old Red Devils HQ's reopening. Did they finally use my idea and agree to turn that place into a Chunks franchise? Mars could definitely use one. Can I actually talk to you now? Not a lot of folks would have stuck okay. their necks out for a stranger like that. Huh. Hey, look. I didn't realize you were actually going to help Percival. You... You're all right. Pardon. Yes. Okay, Lou? Rumor is... You had a hand in whatever it is that's happening over at the old Red Devils HQ. I'm sure we've all got nothing to fear. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay. That's cool, there is some minor reactivity. Look who it is. Can I ask you some personal questions? Oh, uh, okay. If you want to. Now we've exhausted all of them. Alright. We're good Ending for now. Out, that changes. All right, let us head on up here. I guess we'll take the little elevator. Why not? Main level. Good. Go get him, Mantis. Oh, the Mantis stuff, right? All right. Hey there, Simon. Look who survived the devil herself. Well, either that or you decided to pay up. I got the gun. Now let's see the information. Ember's all yours. I'm surprised you couldn't handle Malai yourself. Do I look like I'm gonna pay you? Do I look like I'm gonna pay you? Well, with an attitude like that, I take it the job's done. Yeah, job's done. Let's see the information. So, that lying she-devil finally got what's coming to her. 
I've been looking over my shoulder for the past five years now, just wondering when she'd show up to put a bullet in my chest. Well, you can rest easy now, she's gone. I think you owe me some information now. What are you gonna do with the gun? I haven't given it much thought. The truth is, I never thought I'd see it. <laughs> the only thing I know for sure is that I'm sure as hell not going to use it. Okay. Well, you can rest easy now. She's gone. Actually, no, let's say this. I think you owe me some information now. Just allow an old man a moment. You're an old it's man? strange. Um, I always imagined I'd be happy knowing she's gone. Perhaps I've been running so long now that it will just take time for the relief to set in. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you know, why don't you keep that gun of hers? I think it's time I left the past behind. Did you not really want me to kill her? Come on, are you having second thoughts about it? Get it to fucking gather. Let's get back to business. Moving on is for the best. Sounds like your loss is my gain. Let's get back to business. Yes, let's. Enough about the past. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. Well, that I'm sounds great. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Got it. That's all I need. Thank you. I'm sure Ryujin will appreciate it. I have to get the actual information myself? Any idea what Project Dominion is? I have to get it myself? Getting information is what you people do. I'm just a lowly yet very well paid informant. Here to point you in the right direction. Any idea what Project Dominion is? Best guess is it has something to do with <laughs> Infinity getting into the NeuroAmp business. Mm. Stanley McMillan seemed to think Ryujin would be the one company threatened by this news. So their entry must involve something big. Okay. Well, got it. That's all I need. Nice doing business with you. Okay. We got audio and a file and an untraceable storage slot. Okay. Sure, let's listen to the audio, I guess. What the hell are you doing in this dump of a city anyway? You draw the short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on a deal. He's even got a catchy code name. Project Dominion. Sounds like world domination to me, buddy. I'd buy into that in a heartbeat. Right? I'm telling you, this Project Dominion is the real deal. We ought to be selling this to Inception or Quantum. Hell, you should be in the Astral Lounge making Ryujin Industries beg for that tech. Ha! <laughs> That'd be the greatest irony of them all, but not this baby. Dominion is finally gonna put Infinity first. We'll beat Ryujin at their own game. Why was Simon Rychik doing like a country southern accent here? Why was he doing that? <laughs> Is... <laughs> was this like him being deep undercover or something? What the hell are you doing in this dump of a city anyway? You draw the short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on Even if he was deep undercover... It's unnecessary, right? It's just like the fucking passphrase, right? It, it's, it's not needed. It's, it's a level of security above, or not even a level of security. It's just a little extra bit of, I don't know, fussing around with that is, is not needed. <laughs> okay, sure. File, Stanley McMillan. Okay, name, Stanley McMillan, title, Infinity, LTD, Senior Sales Representative, threat level, none. Schedule approximate local time, 7.30, leaves Lux Condos for work at Deimos Star Yards. Deimos Star Yards. Leaves for lunch, frequents Jane's Goods, Jane's Goods, returns to work, remains at office until day is over, Deimos. Leaves work for the Broken Spear, the Broken Spear, returns to Lux Condos, Lux Condos. Home, temporary Lux condominiums, A10. Ship, none. Dropped off by Infinity LTD chauffeur. Oh. 
Okay. And here's our storage slate. Oh, it's glowing there at the options button. Okay. Cool. Can I talk to him about why he's doing a funny voice here? Can I confront him about it? Time for me to get off this rock. What sort of information is on these slates? And there's actually a lot here. What information is on these? The data slate is Stanley's general itinerary. He keeps a routine schedule, so it's something to plan around. The audio slate recorded my uh, first attempt to get information out <laughs> yeah, of him. He was... See if he knew anything worth selling. He was trying to do a fun he little. <laughs> off. He calls out Project Dominion. But it was all the snide comments about Ryujin that told me it was valuable. Oh. And, uh, if you listen to it, no comments on my southern accent. I'm working on it. Oh my gosh, what an amazing little touch. Okay. What can you tell me about Stanley? The guy thinks he's too good for Sidonia. Bit of a jerk if you ask me. Thinks he's smart, but, uh... <laughs> Give him the right nudge, and he'll believe almost anything you say. Any advice on getting Project Dominion? You have his schedule now, so you decide. Maybe you steal his access card and download the files while he sleeps. Maybe you feed him a line and he hands over access on a silver platter. Just don't do anything to bring security down on your head. Right. I do like that this is seemingly more open-ended and we can approach it how we feel. You know, there is something very cool about that. All right. Well, I think we'll uh, we'll call it right here for now. Uh, when next we come back, we will go seeking out the weird Project Dominion information, if we can. We'll figure out some way to tackle that. Until next time, please take care of each other.